Calcium is supposed to be in your bones and teeth. If you have calcium in your artery walls, then that indicates that there's hard plaque in your arteries. The higher the calcium score, the higher the risk. So as you live your life, you know, you can have a calcium score of zero. And I've seen people in their 80s with scores of zero. But I've seen a gentleman who was 36 years old who had a score of over 1,400. That's extremely high for somebody at any age. But the general cutoffs are, you know, over 400 on a calcium score is high risk. Over 1,000 is very high risk. And I always ask, what's the highest score I've ever seen? 7,770 was the highest score I've ever seen. You don't say. Yeah. That is uh, um, really, really high. The calcium, where does the, the calcium come from? Is it dietary calcium that then gets deposited or is it damage that then creates a cascade where calcium is then deposited in these arteries? It's kind of a end game where the body's trying to repair the damage to the, to the artery. So on the top layer of the artery, there's something called the glycocalyx. It's a protective gel coating. Think of a fish coming out of water that's slimy. That's kind of what your arteries are covered in. It's a carbohydrate gel coat. Underneath that's the endothelium, one cell thick. If you took out all your endothelium, which would be very hard to do, uh, it'd be about the surface area of six tennis courts. And those are kind of like the protective barriers to the lining underneath called the entoma. Once things start getting deposited in the entoma, then you're off to the races developing plaque in the arteries. And the body's repair mechanisms will include depositing smooth muscle into the arteries and eventually calcium 